somewhere over the rainbow. This is the most complete rainbow I've ever seen. Hola, buenos dias, day 40. Beautiful morning here alone on a beach in Finisterre, the end of the world, the end of my Camino, to do some meditation and reflection. You know, I love the ocean. Find a seashell and let it start sinking in. <clears throat> it's been a long 40 days. 40 days, wow. And letting it uh, marinate within me. It's gonna be some um, reflection time, catching up. A lot of rest. <laughs> it is so beautiful to be out here on my own. Just walked through this epic rainbow, the biggest rainbow I've ever seen, completely. And I walked through. And yeah, so some time to let things integrate. It's been a whirlwind. Every day has been about surviving the day. <laughs> and, you know, taking care of my legs, my blisters, finding food, finding a bed, finding resources, winning the bed race every day. So much has been about survival. And also enjoying the present moment, enjoying the beauty of all my changing scenery and surroundings, adapting, being able to adapt really fast to a new type of lifestyle. Wow. Some of it was not easy. And then enjoying getting to know different pilgrims and creating those relationships and alliances. A lot of the time there had to be alliances struck quickly. And wow, having the vision and the creative wherewithal to also film beautiful interviews, scenery, B-roll, stills, much of which, 90% of which you haven't even seen yet, to always keep that in mind while I'm walking. It's a lot, it was a lot to take on and all this from my iPhone. I like the challenge though. I like the challenge and it was a mission that I had as an idea in my mind and I wanted to see how it would play out in reality. And I can tell you that I'm ultimately thrilled with the experience and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of other motions coming up for me <laughs> in the meantime and now I am going to enjoy my last few minutes here alone on the beach I grab my laptop excuse me not my laptop my backpack I'm going to my laptop in Bilbao and uh, taking a, a bus to Santiago and then another bus to Bilbao, where my one bag of things are, my laptop. And uh, stay tuned for what's next. I've got a lot of wonderful options. The world is my oyster. I create my reality. So that's the exciting part. What do I want to do next? Whatever I want. And that truly is evidence there that thoughts become things. We create a reality. It's one idea to hike, to walk the Camino de Santiago all the way from France to Santiago, across Spain, and to the Atlantic Ocean has manifested. And I can tell you that I am a changed person for the better because of that. Goodbye, old friends, partners. You have done me well. I'm leaving you now at the end of the world for somebody else to find you who may want you. This is one of my favorite parts of Santiago. So walking down through the tunnel, the final steps to the Cathedral of St. James. The bagpipes going, happy faces, triumphant faces. And you get to the other side. to the backpack music and watching pilgrims come in and wondering what pilgrims a thousand years ago were feeling right now as they're coming in. 
they had it so hard. <laughs> they didn't have a uh, comfy beds and technology and really nice meals and great equipment. They had it rough. And they were doing this two times there and back. Remember they started in their home in Europe and then once they got to the ocean or here to St. St. James Cathedral, Santiago, then they would walk back home. That is amazing. I think part of the reason I've, I've been so, so much in gratitude during the Camino experience, even with my own hardships, is I kept in mind, kept in my heart, our, our ancient pilgrims who did this over a thousand years and how much harder they had it. So I took some of that, that with me, that spirit. They really wanted, for their own reasons, to complete the Camino. Way to go, old pilgrims. Yeah. One thing I love about Spain, Papa's, ooh, I had those last night. Really good. Yeah. One of the things I love to do when I'm in Europe is just lost in all the little side streets. Take myself on a little adventure and see what I want to see.